Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign. We're trying to beat the game on the highest, literal highest difficulty with uh, nothing but pure dedication, I suppose. Uh, type 4 Distraction, our first 5 school mission in a urban battle environment. And although there is a maximum salvage of 728, which I really would like to get, I suppose it's still prudent to take the money. Or should we just take power 100,000 and go for more salvage? Yeah. Okay, more salvage it is. But before we can salvage whatever we want, we gotta work through the enemies and... I mentioned it before, we've been quite lucky with our five uh, school missions. They tend to be hard, specifically if you have to fight two full entire lances uh, at once. So let's see how well we can deal uh, with that many enemies. Our lance by far not as, um, I would say, evolved as a five school lance normally should be. Good, here we go. Let's begin the mission. Initiated. Whoosh! We're landing right in the center of the city. City as the biome is potentially my favorite one. It had been added with one of the DLCs and specifically in the late game, like when you have all of those nasty large mags, these buildings here, they can just be evaporated, uh, evaporated in a single go. So we got our target over here. So we might as well be ambushed. So I'll stick with the very edge of the map. Roger that, Commander. Okay, so far so good. I read you, Commander. Moving We're in. having that nice little line. I want to make sure that we're not uh, eventually being ambushed from the left-hand side. Sticking close to buildings, and we got the first enemy contact right ahead. Okay. That's dangerous. They do have some sort of high ground and can shoot all the way to here. Roger. Good bullfrog moves over there and Atlas moves uh -huh. into the center. Everybody has decent evasion blips. Medium max or enemies with high initiative in heavy max. Not sure, but we can see three tangles. Oh my gosh, that's an enemy Atlas right there. Okay, that was bad. Good. We're taking some damage. That's fair. It happens. Skipper, ready to get it on. Let's move our annihilator. Oh boy! How about the bull shark? That looks decent. Bullshark moves up. And look at that. He got an LRM 20, AC 20. He has a lot of firepower and 1,500 armor. Let me correct that. He no longer has 1,500 armor. Good. 
Gonna be an eye later, moves up. Putting vigilance on it. Affirmative. And we are hitting that Atlas really well. Moving up with our Atlas. And let's just give him a full salvo. Fantastic. Confirmed. That should teach him an important lesson. Affirmative, Commander. We're coming around with the Orion. Uh, I'm going to flank from here. Oh we're boy. That means we're fighting two lances. That's not good. Armor's holding, Commander. Nothing to see. Got a here. quick draw here, okay. What are your orders, Skipper? Annihilator. If we were to move up here, Copy that. we can tank both of them. Vigilance up, and let's just go. Come on. Firing. All right, Atlas down. That is important. This. The Atlas deals a lot of damage. All right, putting our flanking Orion here on reserve. Enemy Battlemaster. Alpha strikes completely onto the Annihilator. So that won't fly. Gotta be a bit careful here with our positioning. Nah, I don't like the position. Moving over here. Acknowledge, Commander. Let's start softening up the Battlemaster. Okay, he just lost a tiny bit of armor. Not much. Moving up with Hawkbite, the Boar Shark. All weapons committed. That's much better. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Waiting for orders. Good. Atlas moves and turns around so that they can't see his back. And let's just try to get the Go. Battlemaster down. Fantastic. The side torso is open and destroyed. Lots of other openings. Now the Atlas be continues to get um, peppered quite a bit. Quick draw here could potentially move on top of the building. The Annihilator is prone for a rear attack. But instead he goes for the Atlas, that's okay.
All right, moving up with the Annihilator. And this potentially will seal the deal. There we go, Battlemaster down. Fantastic. Gotta make sure that the Atlas takes the other the other vigilance. Good. Orion positions himself here. Thunderbolt cannot yet completely see us. The quick draw is a great target, I would say. Or a sensor lock. Atlas right, moves better. back. Uh, this time vigilance. Yes, please. How many hit points does the building have? A hundred. Okay, a hundred. Okay. So that almost asks for a multi-shot. That'll be 30. And LRM 50. Let's wait with the UAC. And this should be enough to hit the quick draw and then destroy the building so that the quick draw on top of it will fall down. Good, all of that dealt damage to the quick draw. And now the quick draw received a pretty substantial punishment. Thumper moves up, sees the Thunderbolt, does not like the Thunderbolt, shoots the Thunderbolt. Tech warriors, show them what you got. With the Bullshark now take some damage, that's the retaliation. I almost expected that to happen. Let's see what the quick draw is going to do. Just takes a couple of shots. Is he still jumping up on a building? He's not doing Never. that. Okay. Standing by. Annihilator moves up. Vigilance. And straight up annihilates this uh, Thunderbolt here. Massive damage. Half of the armor is gone. Ready to rock. But we're standing right behind that building because. I don't want the quick draw to unload on us. PPC destroyed and the Thunderbolt goes down. Okay, cool. We're still taking retaliating fire. Somewhere far, far away. Commander? The enemies are just trying to get us down. Really, really far, far away. Here we go. Right. 
pilot is now heavily injured. Our annihilator begins to tank more and more of these LRMs. I do not like what I'm seeing. Boshark moves up. Twenty three damage on the torso. Good. First lance almost completely destroyed. We got one quick draw left over. He made a mistake right there. Yes, he opened the Atlas. Which is, well, in a short term good for him. In the long term it's not. Good, moving up. Yes, 21 and 70. Okay, good. So, problem is, once you Engage. fell down for the first time, second time, will destroy both of your legs. Down, and that means the entire mech is gone. Too bad, joke's now on you. Let them come first. Hey, yo. Good, we're starting with Hawkbite and the Bull Shark and the Thumper Cannon. Thumper cannons within the cities are fantastic. They are just mass, mass destruction weapons. Just look at all of the buildings. Gone in a single instance. What are your orders, Skipper? Affirmative, Commander. Oh, look at that. There's uh, the last mech. Okay, interesting. Let's just sensor lock this guy. I've got a sensor lock. Highlander, okay. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Good, precise strike. Let's get that Highlander hey, down. Commander. It took some damage from the mortar. Receiving you. But not as much as I hoped it would. Annihilator moves up. Vigilance and... Let's do the shots. Oh hell yeah! It's on now. Minimal damage on that hit. Skipper. Go to Ryan moves back. It's a bit of it. Got a lock. Uh, game of chicken and egg. They got the better position. We got the better max. Damage minimal. Ready for orders.
Yeah, not necessarily needed to to advance now. Let them move first. Roger that. Standing by. All right, only the Highlander is left over. Waiting for orders. You theoretically move with the Annihilator over here. Not a bad idea. Vigilance and who's the right target? Potentially the Stalker, to be honest. Yeah. That guy took a massive amount of damage right there. Highlander jumps in. Try to retaliate on the Annihilator, but really does not accomplish that much. Bullshock, on the other hand. Vigilance so that we get a better initiative. Can't really move anywhere where we would be able to shoot someone. And that is suboptimal. Sprinting over here next round is going to be another thumper for sure. Received. Time to hit that stalker. That's a critical hit. It's go time. Good. The annihilator takes a bit of damage, but we're still fine. Ogbite over here moves into a full cover position and then this here should be the money shot. Yep, that worked very well. Reporting. Heavy damage. All right, Annihilator. Moves all the way over here and just leaves them. We can also sensor lock, don't worry. Sensors locked on. We're going to focus on the stalker. Good. Fantastic. So, Critical Stalker hit. has just lost half of his arsenal. Show him what you got. Confirmed. Commander? Move. 
Moving to position. Very good. Vigilance and let's hit the stalker here. Firing on target. That's a critical hit. The guy went down. And with it, we can potentially kill it next turn. Very good. Very good hit. I'm losing armor left and right. Yep. Orion moves back. And we are looking at the kill versus the house. One less structure. 115 points of damage on both legs. Right, so far so good. Commander. What are we going to do with the annihilator? Or with the bull shark. The enemies have decent evasion blips, so it's going to be difficult. The bull shark is still in tip top shape, so really can't see where we wouldn't be able to go in. Let's kill the stalker. 104 hit points. Yeah, let's send a torso. Good. Cyclops has taken a bit of damage. That's good. Stray shot here and there. The killer has given us enough resolve to go into full defense again. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with being fully targeted with the Annihilator. On the other hand, we need the damage. So two evasion blips need to be good enough. X are heavily battered. The Cyclops still looks fresh, although it has taken some damage. Yeah, this guy here has the highest firepower. All right. Let's unload. Oh hell yeah. It's on now. Go to Ryan. Moves further away and let's make sure that the Cyclops here loses his evasion blips could be the next target after the highlander atlas takes some damage but i think we're going to be fine hey i lost a weapon we 
anything really? to learn. What weapon is gone? Ah, that is unfortunate. Affirmative. All right, continuing. Well, hmm. Whom do we want to knock down? So, a destabilized Highlander, fully overheated. I still think that that here is the best target. Alright, one of the Highlanders will most likely die. Cyclops tries to stay out of range. And the other Highlander. Just took a hard hit there. Yeah tries to uh, fight against us yes commander all right all right so move order received fully unloading on that guy inflicted some heavy damage Islander is highly unsteady. Shark moves forward. The Silender can really not do that much. Might as well start dealing with the Cyclops here. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Confirm. On my way. All right, how many hit points? 41. This guy has nothing left, so might as well just kill it. There we go. That gives us more resolve to work with. And he also doesn't just run up and slam his mech buddy into us. Okay, Annihilator definitely now needs to go back. Offering a different target. And let's reduce this guy's initiative. I'm on Not that it matters this round. He will still be able to shoot, but I hope that he'll not uh, target the Annihilator. Of course, hope only gets you so far in this game. He targets the Annihilator. Completely overheated. Commander. 25, yeah. We gotta move back. This here is right or so so let's present the left side. Oshak moves up and let's get the Cyclops here. Alright, 
Alright, the Annihilator... The Annihilator definitely needs to move away now. Receiving you. I copy. Confirmed. Islander slowly but surely kind of finds his way back into this fight. We're of course not going to allow that. He's going to be the next tar uh, big target here. Got it. Atlas. Shoots him from the other side. Ah, oh, did we did we get him down? No, he's just massively unsteady, but still standing. Armor breach, internal damage. Good to go. So moving back. Coordinates received. And time to continue Fire hitting that up. Highlander. Good, LRMs are gone. And it sort of looks like everybody is taking a bit of damage now. Ten four. Good. Let's hit the Cyclops. Here we go. Good. The, the bull shark definitely is still in the fight. Engaging target. And we got half of the Highlander Enemy down. Waiting for orders. Nah, I think we're just going to pause here. Orders. Orion moves up. Come on, the Cyclops needs to go down. 79 hit points on the center torso. I'm on him. Cyclops still standing and is trying its dearest. Serious armor loss. Standing by. Is trying his dearest to damage us. But the bull shark takes a couple of hits, but that is fine. Armor low. Ready for orders. We don't have the LRMs anymore, and we got a really poor right hand side. Moving up here, racing. Orders. 
Yeah, too far away. Affirmative. I don't want to lose equipment, so... Left arm is okay. Got a weapon but I don't want to lose lost tech. Confirm. Vigilance. To regain stability. Lost two I'm medium ready. lasers. That's not the end of the world. Believe it or not. Not the end of the world. Copy that. Good. Cyclops finally down. Enemy eliminated. Black on. Watch my heat. Ryan continues to take a heavy beating. And now I think that was his final mistake. There we go. Target building destroyed. Damage to both of the legs. The guy do goes down and I hope that that is the end of the engage. Oh no. Standing by. Guy is still acknowledged. Still alive somehow. Roger that. Okay. Now he's down. Well, That was a slugfest, boy oh boy. That's a real five school mission. Two full lances, most of them with assault mechs, some heavy mechs. And yeah, we lost a good weapon here, USC 10. Plus plus fantastic weapon can be replaced and we lost an arm on the Orion got an atlas got a nice little Highlander part here We'll get the quick draw. Unfortunately, none of the stuff is... None of that stuff is special. So the lost tick that we've lost is actually completely lost. Good. Claimed value 24 million. I think it was the right decision to just go for half a million of payment and use those enormous salvage rights, uh, rights that they have given us. Unfortunately, couldn't bring down one of the uh, the guys by either uh, destroying both of the legs well none of the larger mechs that is that mech you asked for is cleared for fighting good we have to do a couple of things that was really an intense mission so we would have a quick draw here as a heavy mech. We can sell that soon. So Annihilator. We gotta repair this guy. And luckily it's only a heat sink that is missing. It can be easily replaced. 
There you go. Quick and dirty. The annihilator continues to work no just there. fine. Then we got the Orion here. Will not directly work on it. Just give me a second and let me work on the others first. Yeah, we lost the UAC-10 here. That stinks. So what can we do? Well, we could go with an AC-20 plus plus. Hmm. Or a UAC-5. Which would reduce the Atlas's damage potential, but it uh, would increase its range. Let's check the store if we do have a UAC 10 plus plus as an extra weapon. Got fantastic ER lasers there. AC 10s plus plus, but not UAC 10s. Too bad. I think we're going to go for the UAC 5 variant for now. This is 15 rounds of ammunition. So we got two more tons available. What we could do with that is we could upgrade to LRM 20s. Damage wise, not necessarily an upgrade. What we could also do with it is missile accuracy. And I think that is what we're going to do. So the Atlas is still at a respectable amount of damage. Uh, the only difference now will be that the LRMs will hit even better. Arguably kind of a uh, side right. development, a lateral trade. Good, and I would wait with uh, with the Orion. First, we want to do what we came uh, came here for in the first place, which is Atlas. Yes, Atlas. Yes, and Atlas. Yes. Good. We're incredibly low on sea builds. So, can we find a Mac where we have like two versions of it? Apparently not. Good. In terms of just pure value, mm, we just got to uh, sell a couple of weapons. Uh, need to get to that million threshold. PC is here. We're using them very, very uh, seldomly. Specifically, the base weapons 
it's okay to get rid of them. And it's not like I'm completely getting rid of them, it's just I'm reducing the number of spare weapons that we do have available. Like this here, for instance, there's no chance that I will need that many small jump jets. Good, we're at a million. Okay, fantastic. Good, which brings us back to what I was trying to do initially. The Orion here will take some time to overall be repaired. And we also lost two medium lasers, which is fair. But yeah, 100,000 shouldn't be a problem. The question, the obvious question though, is should we um, shift the equipment here to the Atlas? And the answer is, again, quite obvious. Yes, so all we're doing is we're repairing so that we can store the Orion. It's a good mech, there is no need to destroy it. But the repair can, hap uh, repair can happen a bit later. Alright, Orion's repair happens at the very end. Atlas 2, on the other hand, see if you now look at heat efficiency, the guy has 60 heat um, as standard um, heat uh, reduction. We're going with a full comp system and a heat bank. So it's going to be fun. Let's take a look. Six lasers. Let's take a wild guess what that is going to be. Damn right. Medium lasers. Highly efficient. Small lasers. That's some extra damage over here. And some extra crit over here. And we got even more lasers. And look at that. My guy is still heat efficient, like not not even not even started to get into trouble. Good. In terms of firepower we're requiring a bit more, to be honest. So let's start with the obvious, which is all of the hard points. Use an SRM. And not any SRM, SRM triple, uh, triple plus. Two times ammunition, that'll be 200 shots, 12. Yeah, plenty. Good, and we got so much more space left over, potentially even for larger lasers. Now here comes the fun part, right? What kind of weapon do we want? The LBX-10 makes a lot of sense, and with the LBX-10 we're already at 450, and we still got plenty of room. Ammunition. That's eight rounds. Let's take plenty of ammunition so that this here is a sustain brawler that can withstand even a longer fight.
I think that uh, the USC 5 might be an option. Yeah, we're building up too much heat at this point. Good, so heat efficiency, it's actually quite heat efficient because he starts at 60 already. USC 10 would be a bit too heavy. I think we're going for the USC 5, longer range. And 550 is plenty, plenty for AC 5 ammunition. And that would be 15, that's only seven rounds because the USC weapon fires twice. So now it is 15 rounds and we're still having room left over. This mech is absolutely amazing. Look at that, we're not even trying with double heat sinks or anything. Like we're rocking 102 heat reduction. We're rocking 102 heat reduction. So normal engagements with this guy will be quite deadly. ER lasers uh, would be fine uh, l later down the road, but the SRMs, the lasers, all of the small lasers, if we can just move up to the enemy, that would be fantastic. Might as well from an equipment like assault uh, jump jets, yeah, assault jump jets could be theoretically added, but we only got two and we need three. So let's see, it could, a, it could be a brawler, like a close range brawler in the future. With the shotgun and the UAC-5, we have plenty of ballistic damage. There is uh, stability damage. And even if all of that ammunition for whatever reason would run out, we still would have 150, 250, 250, just in laser damage. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Good. So. So. That is quite a long time until all of that is being repaired, but we're fine. Uh, we are actually good because the next location that uh, where we would want to go was right up here at Primus. And we wanted to go for a lighter uh, regiment we're going to do that flashpoint this is also a three and a half uh, stars uh, system so there should be some missions for us and we're just going to refill the um the cache quite a bit By your command. we're almost completely out of cash Oh, we got a Flashpoint campaign part four. New Flashpoint. New Flashpoint added, and that might be. I can't remember that one. Oh, that's the five star Flashpoint where we're 
fighting against Black Widow. It did not have the Thumper, but rare items. But yeah, this here could be, since it's the last Flashpoint, uh, so to speak, um, of a uh, four-part series of Flashpoints, this here could actually be also our uh, last um, last target for the campaign. We've uh, done a pirate campaign, and these are the pirate flashpoints. And this is the last flashpoint for the pirates. So we're going to uh, we're going to to do that, but not right now, of course. So it's interesting uh, to see just how difficult that five school was the last time that we, uh, that we uh, fought two lances. And it's potentially going to be easier with a full assault mech. Yeah, we're we're doing fine for now. I hate it when you're getting low on seals because that typically means you it's it's getting very close. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do the next time uh, with a lower McTonnage contingent. In terms of the store. Just giving it one last glance here. Got a nice little Highlander here. Not that we need it. Any specific weapons? Yeah, a couple of okay weapons. A mortar. That's the smaller version of the Thumper Mortar. Mortars are fun, as you know by now. So yeah, that that's good. In terms of the Mech Bay, before I forget it, can we put anything back in the storage room? Yeah, we wanted to put this guy in the storage room. Wanted to put this guy in the storage room. So yeah, these down here are the actual mechs that we're using. I'll keep the blackjack around just in case we need an additional mech. But yeah, in three days the Atlas would be ready. And in terms of leveling... Good to go. Bradford moves up. Gets a 20% max speed, and we're soon going to get Ace Pilot. Let's get that overheat threshold. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. Standing by. yep. Awaiting orders. Good. The commander. Okay. That actually works out well. Thank you, guys. That brings us to the end of today's uh, mission. The next time we're going to do another flashpoint, collect some money, and then we're kind of almost at the finishing uh, line. I wanted to find a good finish for the campaign, and I think that last flashpoint, the five school flashpoint, might be in beating Black Widow, might be just um, uh, the, the right uh, epilogue for us, and it will cement us uh, to be kind of the pirate crew. Our reputation is uh, slowly growing, and as you can see, you, as long as you just continue to do missions and missions and missions, that's that's really no problem to get like um, a thousand there. But yeah, that's it for today. If you like the content, leave a comment down below and uh, hit the like button. See you in two days. The usual. Bye bye.